Targeting H1N1 tonight, a massive high-tech push is out to get the facts out about this virus. KLTV7's Laren Livingston shows us how. From 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue... I don't want anybody to be alarmed, uh, but I do want everybody to be prepared. All the way to Sesame Street. Come on, wash your hands with Elmo. Wash, wash, wash. Elmo and Gordon are now helping spread the word. And when you have to sneeze or cough, do it into the bend of your arm. Ah, sneeze into your arm with Elmo. Ha, ha, Teaming up with the government website flu.gov to help kids and families stay healthy. You really have to help educate the kids. Stephanie Taylor with the Northeast Texas Public Health District posted the video to their website. We work every day to try to educate the community on what to do and, and give them the information that they need. And this really puts it at their fingertips. There's even an app to track H1N1. Introducing Health Map, Outbreaks Near Me, a new and free iPhone application that provides real-time disease outbreak info on outbreaks in your neighborhood including H1N1. Some say there are pros. It helps to put health, um, health awareness on the forefront um, across the world. And cons. We have professionals that do disease surveillance every day, and it could cause a little bit of panic within the community um, on, on things that really there's no need to panic. This, again, is a mild disease. It's not been as, as bad. Hospital officials say the regular seasonal flu kills thousands of people every year, and as long as people remain sensible... Getting the flu vaccine, taking extra precautions, all of these should happen during the flu season. This fall, the world could be a healthier place from Sesame Street and abroad. Lara Livingston, KLTV 7 News. The H1N1 virus has already sickened more than one million Americans. A vaccine still being developed. U.S. health officials expect it to be available by October.